Right now we're uh, on the USS New York and we're headed up to New York uh, for the ceremony at, uh, for 9-11, for the 10th anniversary. On board we have approximately 99 family members who lost individuals in the towers, either firefighters, police, or port authority, or actually family members who work in the building. The New York, as a ship, hosts these families as a show of gratitude and remembrance because we carry seven and a half tons of World Trade Center steel that cut through the water. So their family, my family, because I lost my cousin, are with us every day and leads to a healing process for all of them that come on board. My sister Danielle, was never found. We never got any remains back. So to us, her remains were in the dust and debris and the steel that was left at Ground Zero. And for me, part of her and her blood and the blood of many of the victims who were never recovered are in that steel. And I feel that her soul and part of her is maybe with this ship. It means we'll never forget. And um, to cool the steel that was in the Trade Center, to have it being used again for something good, that, that's wonderful. Um, so much twisted steel that day, it could have been all melted down and forgotten about. But to be put into this ship, it's part of it, it's living on. So it's important. It, re it reminds us every day being on board the ship that, you know, those people didn't let, lose their lives for, for, for no reason. You know, and um, it kind of gives us motivation to do what we do every day here.